So here's my new project. What I've done is modified my solar cooler so that now instead of having a big pump, I've just got this tiny little DC pump. So it's a 12 volt DC, 60 watt pump. It's rated at 0.8 megapaxel, megapascals and five liters per minute. Um, so now this is the water tank, rainwater tank. The water comes along here through a filter into my pump. Uh, then it goes into this valve, which is a 24 volt valve that you give it um, 24 volts one way to open. Oh, the pump's running. Yep. And this is my microcontroller in here and a battery. So what I have in here, if I can focus. I've got at the top, I've got a solar controller. So this shows sunlight hitting my solar panel and it's charging power to my battery which is at 14.1 volts and the output's turned on. This is a little pickaxe microcontroller that I've got. It's a 28X1 pickaxe. And it's a bit of a mess with the cables but basically all of these outputs go to a couple of relays and a board behind here and they're what controls the pump and the valve. And I've got a little flashing light this shows me the temperature so of my solar panels so it's showing three short ones yeah so that means 30 degrees yeah if it was 32 degrees it would have three flashes and then a gap and then another three flashes and now this is telling me that the outside temperature is 21 degrees at the moment so this is controller is set up that if the ambient temperature is uh, if there's about six or seven degrees I think if the sorry if the solar panels are seven degrees more than ambient temperature then it goes into this cooling cycle of opening this valve starting this pump and then closing the valve and that squirts water using a micro irrigation system onto the solar panels. There's my little uh, 12 volt lead acid battery. So this, we've got connections up here that go to a little solar panel which is up there on my roof. So that's about a 20 watt solar panel. Um, so it's a 60 watt pump and a 20 watt solar panel. So that comes back to our controller. And what I have on the roof is I've got a rainwater collection system here. So this is a, it's got a first flush. So this vertical pipe fills up with the first flush of water when it starts to rain. And then once this is filled and reached the top, then water overflows into here, into the tank. And when the tank gets full, water overflows this way down into the normal drain. So this is a 1000 litre tank, which um, collects water from the roof. So that water is used for cooling the solar panels with this micro irrigation system, which is controlled by the pump here. So the reason I'm using rainwater tank is because the rainwater has no calcium in it and then I get no deposits on the panels. So now let's go and have a look at the panels. So, so here's a system diagram just so you can see what's going on. So it starts off, we have rain, rain gets collected. We have a first flush valve, and then that goes into our rain tank, which fills up with water. The uh, outlet from the tank goes to our new 12 volt pump, and we have our control.
control valve and that goes up to the roof to our cooling system where we have our cooling pan our solar panels and we have a little nozzle that sprays a mist of water onto the solar panels to cool them to improve the power efficiency then we have a little microcontroller This is connected to the pump, it's connected to the valve. We have a little temperature sensor that we've attached to the solar panels. It's also connected. And we have another temperature sensor which is just measuring the ambient temperature. And when the ambient temperature and the solar panels, when there's a difference of about 8 degrees, then the controller starts turning on the valve and turning on the pump to spray some water onto the panels which cools them down. Um, and then we also, just to make the whole thing solar powered, let's draw the sun here, we have another panel, a small panel, for powering our solar panel cooler controller. So this is connected down into here, and this is connected to our sealed lead acid battery. And that's the system.